Hey everyone, Arshako here, welcome back to Dark Cloud. This episode is going to be pretty Jirama heavy, so I hope you guys are uh, all the ready for it, because I don't know about you guys, but I am quite looking forward to it. So anyway, Bon Buku, who he, who ha, he ha, shabba dabba ding dong. Alright, um, oh, I already placed the house, what am I even doing? Uh, where, where are you, Bon Buku? Bonboku! Oh, he, he, ha. Jaws, shut your mouth. No, no, don't come in here. I'm record. no, I'm recording. Stop. 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 Jaws, what do you want? Anyway. So really interrupted by my own, by my own dojo. <laughs> my cat is my dojo. Anyway, what do you need for your house upstairs cabin? I believe you already told me that. But um, I'm looking for whatever the name of the other person is. <laughs> other person, where are you? I'm not seeing you inside the house. Shubaba, shop, buddha, shop, buddha, bududa, shop. Kulu. Where is Kulu? Aha! Are you still gonna be? Oh, all right. Um, what do you need for your house? Aha! There we go. Uh, I should have figured. I mean, every house has a torch and that first slot. Anyway, what do you guys say we go ahead and walk on in? Yes, indubitably. Hey, I'm in the middle of something. Could you come up here for a sec? Sure. Us in our yoga pants. We're excellent to start climbing. Glulu, don't climb up there. It's dangerous. Come on down. Puff. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was something you were saving for later. I know I ate it, but there's nothing you can do about that now. Ah, uh, wow. This is bad. Uh, is everything okay, dude? Hey, Toen. I ate something Kalulu's. She got mad at me, and she climbed up way up there. It was a strange looking thing, and I carelessly ate it. You don't have one, do you? It was quite like a shell and white in color. Oh, oh, and it was really sweet. Hmm. Is anything like that in our inventory quite strike that description? Possiblemente was there... Uh, method to my madness with Claude and getting the candy from him early on? I believe there was. Oh, that's it! Kulu, look at this! I'll give you this if you come down. That's all it took. What a brat. Here. <laughs> what a goob. Let me tell you something. Oh my gosh, she's wearing a fox. That's- oh. Oh my gosh, it makes so much sense. We don't know what the fox says because she doesn't talk to us. Gee, thanks. Let me return you the favor. Sorry, we don't have much we can give, but please take this anyway. Wait a minute, Leaf. Hmm. Interesting. They say in the East, you can make cure-all medicine from this leaf. Seems you're traveling, so this may come in handy. Alright, so we replaced one useless uh, quest item with yet another. That's right, there's nothing we can really do with this ointment leaf yet, but in a future section of the game, it will come quite, or it will come in quite important. You guys will see. Foreshadowing at its finest. Anyway, um, oh, oh, I didn't talk to them, but I do know for a fact that uh, Bambuku wants to be placed directly by a watermill. Um, and actually, um, I also know off the top of my head that two characters want to be kind of close to Wise Owl Shop, so we're gonna put him. Oh, that's right. I <laughs> still need to fix that river. We're gonna put him like that. Why not? And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a water mill. Uh, well, that's a well. I want, yeah, water mill. Right next to him. Next to them, I should say. Because there's two people in the house. I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, so, uh, drama analysis. I think that's good. Let me, uh, remove it real quick. 
Oh, that's not- oh. <laughs> Whoops, sorry guys, I didn't mean to violently rip you out of the world when you were in the middle of who knows what. So, uh, we're, we're kind of pretty much the worst people ever. Anyway, though, what do you guys say we go ahead and do Key and- or Kai? Kai? Is it Key or Kai? Kai and Momo's house. <gasps> oh my god, it's Momo from The Last Airbender. Anyway, uh, Momo, here we go, and, uh, Kai, Key, Kai, probably Kai. Oh, uh, you guys, I can already tell him want some stairs, and you want a cabin. Wow, you're the last house that gets the cabin. Very nice, staying classy. Uh, one, uh, one cabin at a time. <laughs> oh, man, what am I even doing? Um, also, I do know for a fact that we're gonna have to move these rivers over so that uh, we have as much space as possible for other houses. So, um, well, let's just make a bunch of islands over here, because, again, why not? Wabafet. So we're going to push Kai and Momo's house as close as we can to Wise Owl Shop. For reasons. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're not buried? Sometimes I wish you were, though. Okay. Anyway, what do you need for a house? A torch keeps the evil spirits away, of course. Um, how should we rebuild Mataki Village? You do that, we're not gonna pay any attention. Sir, I want your I want your booty, sir. Do not block the booty, otherwise I'll block you. From life. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to come back when he So on. We're gonna have to come back when he's not being so dang fangly rude. Dang it. Anyway, Mage Slayer. Okay. Towin! <laughs> Stop! God dang. Just get in the house, Towin. Towin, Towin, get in. That may be what Xiao said. <laughs> For any of you Dark Cloud Chippers, you know what I'm talking about, even though I'm not one of you. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, guys. I apologize. Ooh, cheese. I love me some cheese. Also, aha, Momo. Uh, -huh. yeah. Yeah, never heard of it. Well, uh, screw you and your family. Uh, how do you want... House? Okay, nameplate. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. She wants to be close to the store. Um, Momo's objective is what, like, is what really matters. Kai... doesn't really matter when it comes to rebuilding... Uh, wise or pfft. guys, we're rebuilding Wise Owl Forest. Just thought you should know. Now, when we rebuild a Delicious Sushi Village, Kai doesn't really matter. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand at all. Anyway, though, what do you guys say we go back inside? Also, what's this? Grandpa, what are you doing up there? Come down from the roof. No, I won't. Why not? Don't you see? The evil cloud is about to veil the world. Stop talking nonsense and come down here. You're on the roof, Grandpa. Mama, pray with me for world peace. Oh, come on. Are you nuts? <laughs> Can you grown Grandpa nuts? What a granddaughter. Can it be that you, Momo? That your brain is already infected by evil? Oh, boy. Grandpa... Grandpa, get down from the roof. Oh my, oh, I didn't even get to see you up close. Oh my. He really has gone nuts. Toen, so you're the one who restored our house, right? Thank you. Here's something for you. She kind of looks like, chi really? Really, people are giving us like Fruit of Edens and Gourds and you give us a plant buster? I don't care how cute you are. That is not acceptable. Pff, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it'll serve me well all three points that it gives me. Uh, sir? <laughs> sir. This is the classic example of why you never want to start off a night by saying, hold my drink. Because, uh, in Kai's case, it's pretty much going to lead to your inevitable, uh, falling off the roof. And you do not want that. Usually. You never know. Though. Possibly. Maybe. Alright, uh, couscous. I do believe couscous. 
wants to be up on the hill. Now, is Couscous the one that wants... Okay, no. Uh, he's not the one who wants to be by Momo. So, we're not going to have to worry about it yet. But we are going to have to place down Earth B. Also, Earth B takes up a whole lot of real estate. So, uh-oh. Am I going to have room for it? Huh. Huh. Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of arranging. Let me... Okay, I um I moved the rivers a little bit so that there's this like little uh little pocket and now hopefully that should give us a little bit of room. Also, <laughs> people inside the houses, I'm just kind of moving you uh willy nilly. I apologize, but it's for the greater good. So let's try this now. Aha! Beautiful. Okay, there we go. Finally. Okay, now let's go ahead and do couscous. Couscous. Alright, so, uh, Twitch, once again, you want a sign, as usual. Probably gonna want this grass, because I may or may not know what I'm doing. I typically, I typically know what I'm doing, when it comes to this game, at least. Usually. That's what, I guess, I like to think, at least. So, uh, anyway, uh, Prickly, uh, more money. Uh, it's, hey, I'm okay with that. Nice, a Fruit of Eden, always welcome. Uh, camera, if you could turn a little bit faster, that would be... A little more appreciated, but hey, you know what? I'm not, I'm not rushing anything, you know. Uh, ooh, a gourd, very nice. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Hi, who are you? Oh, I see. I'm Couscous. Nice to meet you, Tone. I can't go out of this house, so come visit me once in a while. Words cannot even express how confused I am at the current moment. Just look at that face, uh, ladies. I know it's gonna be hard to restrain yourself, but uh, just you gotta you gotta control. I know, I know he's just a hunky chunk of beef jerky, but you know it is what it is. Uh, you want? Yep, the grass. And how do you want to rebuild my attack village? He just wants to be in a high place, so that's why I had to do so much in rearranging the hill. Cool, cool. All right, so let's go ahead get his magical grass. Let's. Slightly suggestive on my part. My apologize. My apo Why do I always say that? I always say my apologize instead of my apologies. <sighs> Commentary. <laughs> it's a thing that happens. Almost never, with me, at least. Alright, so anyway... Uh, sir, if you want to put some clothes on... Especially with that angle. Want some candy? Uh, no, I don't need that. Really, but so good. How did pretty stone then? So, if you say yes to the candy, you will get another thing of candy. And if you've already given one, or like you've already received one from from Claude, you will have an item that you can never get rid of. An item that is completely useless, and I will just hog up your inventory space. So, do not get the candy. If you say yes, to, um. To this one, you'll get a fire and nice, which really isn't that great, so I'm gonna say no thank you once more. So, in exchange, there's no other uh, offer other than a turtle shell hammer. So, that's pretty nice if you've gone through the game without being able to give, or without being able to get Goro a good weapon. There you go. If you ever get overloaded with items, come to me. He can hold a lot under. I honestly read that as, like, fluffy... <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, so yeah, in addition to giving you a turtle shell hammer, or candy, or fire slash ice, again, if you went to Claude during the, I believe is the daytime, and got the cheese and soap, this is how you get the candy instead in order to get the ointment leaf. Um, but anyway, he also stores items for us. Very useful. Very, very useful. Indeed. Indubitably. Um, sir, sir, why is the Georama not any higher? That is a little unsettling, but I guess it just kind of is what it is, I suppose. Anyway, uh, what do you guys say we do gob? Also, uh, when I said uh, we got gob and I was like, oh man, it's gob, you guys are in for a treat. I was actually thinking of couscous, it's just gob kind of sounds more like a fat man's name. No offense, if anyone in my audience is... 
If anyone in my audience is named Gob, uh, I'm, I'm deeply sorry. I did not mean to uh, offend you in any way, shape, or form. So, you know, I, I, I should be more considerate of all you Gob named folks. My bad. Uh, also, who is it that needs to be by the peanut pond? Oh, I believe it's, I believe it's Pow. Okay, so Pow, I'm gonna move you back over yonder. Uh, so that should be good, I think. Uh, how do I want him though? Yeah, I'll, I'll have him, uh, I'll have him face that way. Does that increase our dream armor? Aha! There we go, okay. So Gob, you want a toy, oh, you want a Twitch sign. And that's it for now. Now, I do know for a fact that Gob wants to be right next to uh, Kai in Momo's house. So we're going to put him uh, right there. That should be good. Cool. Game. All right. So we got a Sky Hunter. Very much appreciate it. Uh, chest with Beast Hunter. We are going to run out of attachments. I can pretty much guarantee now. Also, he's wearing a crocodile. All right. So uh, <laughs> the Vagabond Cook. Nice to, nice to know. Anyway, uh, what do you need for your house? He wants bones and trees. Bones and trees. Whoops. Alright, so, uh, how do you want us to rebuild Montag Village? Yep, wants to be by Momo's house. It is just as I suspected. Now, I am going to be the first one to admit, I think, I think Gob's house is actually pretty cool. And you'll see, um, and actually, like, a pretty big portion of, oh, whoops. Okay, uh, I don't even want to bother selling stuff. I'm just gonna throw what's gonna be kind of useless away. Uh, endurance one. I don't need you. Sea killer. I probably didn't need you either. You will. Anyway, um, Cop's house I think is actually designed pretty coolly. That's a cool design. I think that's what I meant to say. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and add the bone, bada boom, and the tree. Cool. cool. And with that, look at that. Actually, it reminds me of uh, Misty Island from uh, Jack and Daxter. So, uh, that's just my two cents on his house design. It's pretty cool. Oh, there you are. Thanks to you, my house that I'm so proud of is restored. Today, I will treat you with real men's cooking. It's a rare seafood dish. Dude, are you gonna teach us the whirlwind slash? Okami, that's the thing that I'm referencing. What, you're full already? I still have a lot more. Look, man, I stuffed my turban, I stuffed my yoga pants, I am good. What, already done, huh? You can't grow big at all unless you eat. Spider-Man. Hey, wait just a minute. Ta-da! It's a gift, take it, okay? He's giving us a frozen tuna. <laughs> a big bike, or a bit big for takeout, huh? Seafood's hard to come by here. Enjoy. Hey, you know what? I'm not complaining. If somebody gave me a frozen fish the size of literally uh, myself, I'd probably be okay with that. I mean, I wouldn't really want to carve it out in order to eat it. But hey, food is food. Am I right, guys, or am I? left anyway though maybe thinking all right so we got a we got a big frozen tuna huh that's weird I'm not uh, I'm not seeing it in our items bag well I will have you know the reason why you're not seeing a frozen tuna in your items bag is because it is actually a weapon for Goro that's right one of the weapons in this game is a frozen Fish. If you guys haven't been sold on this game yet, uh, you guys are honestly lost causes because this is quite literally the best weapon in the game. Magical Hammer, eh, pretty good. It's not like I freaked out or anything when I first got it, but Frozen Tuna? <laughs> yes. Anyway, we're just getting all the weapons for Goro, but it doesn't even end there. Also, let me check Giorama real quick. Awesome, 79%. We are almost there. Anyway, the last person we have to set is Row. Row, row, row your boat uh, gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. I am original in my commentary. 
That was, that was pretty beautiful. I do say so myself, which of course I do. So, uh, question. Oh, Mushroom Mouse, there it is. I see where it is. I see. God, I have too many attachments, dang it. I need to use this pocket. I wish we, okay. I am like stumbling all over my words, but I really wish there were pockets that could expand your attachments bag, because as it is, obviously, the game likes to give you a lot of them, and I just can't level up quite fast enough to uh, to match the game's pace. So, anyway, we need to talk to the female, <laughs> the female, to a uh, little orphan Annie in order to find out what else they need. So, so far, okay. Uh, yeah, where it's breezy. Cool. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and finish off the house. I think. Let's have to talk to the other person. Oh, dang it. <sighs> dang it. This is what I get for being overzealous. Who are you? Oh. Well, that was easy. Anyway. Alright, uh, what do you need for house? The balcony, okay. Good, so they both want to be high up, so I'm glad I put them up on the hill. There is the second floor, and there is the balcony. Oop, whoops. The balcony. What do you guys say we head on in and finish off the last house in Wise Owl Forest? Hey, you! This way, come on! Come on up here! There, you can climb that ladder. Come on, Tone. Pull a Gordon Freeman. Yeah! Gordon Freeman powers activated. Oh my god, they don't blink. They don't blink. What do you think? The view from here is great, isn't it? Not gonna lie, high up on the sill, on your balcony, it is pretty awesome, even though we can't really see a whole lot. Whoops, that's kind of my bad. Sorry, guys. I'm so happy now that the house is restored. I owe all this to you. Really, thank you so much. Oh, and they bow. They're really nice old people. And they're also strangely similar in appearance. Now, I need to return the favor. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Right. Oh, that's it. I have just the thing. Honey, what's keeping you? Hmm. Where'd I put it? Uh, uh, I found it! Oh, uh, uh! Oh my god, he just fell from three stories! Oh my god! Uh, oh, you're okay. Okay, well I was gonna kinda run out and say I saw nothing. But if you survived a three-story flight fall... Okay, okay. I'm uh, not sure if I should really stay in here much longer though. Moongrass seed, yeah! Awesome, okay. I found it walking in the woods looking for giant mushrooms. It never grows whenever, er, yeah. It never grows whenever I plant it. Treant said it will be something very good someday, but it only grows in a special place in the woods. Since you seem to go into the woods a lot, you might be able to find that special place. Good luck to you. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so it needs Sundew, the item that we actually have to use to get to the back layers. Back layers. Black, back floors. I, what am I even saying? Um, it needs Sundew in order, to, in order to grow. Words. Talking. It's a thing. My lord, myself. Please, get it together. Anyway, if you don't happen to actually have Sundew in your inventory and you've used it on the actual back floors, do not worry because... It's in the first chest in the house. So, again, it's nothing to worry about. Just don't use it. Otherwise, you're going to have to grind on floors until you actually get a uh, another sundew. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, though, now that we have officially gotten the item that we need in order to access... Nope! I just spoiled the boss. Uh, myself, cut that out. Um, you guys heard nothing. I did not just say the name of the boss that we have to fight. Now that we can reach the boss's lair with the Moongrass Seed and the Sundew, I'm going to quickly uh, put all the stuff into the mills. So, boom! <laughs> All 
All right, and now we're gonna actually uh, finish off arranging the last miscellaneous stuff that doesn't really impact anything, but it's you know it's still important for uh, completion. <laughs> Yeah, there we go, 100%, so let's go ahead and put the last remaining trees, and then I believe we have a couple more rivers. Um, but yeah, we have now officially 100%ed Manitake Village, the delicious sushi village. Alright, so tree there, uh, tree there, tree over yonder, and one more, uh, right there. Okay, and then last but not least... Bridges. All right, so we'll put one right by the entrance to the hill. Uh, one gap in the bridge between uh, Kai and Momo, and then the Wise Owl Shop. Very, very useful. Uh, and actually, we'll put. Uh, mm, I don't like. Okay, <laughs> this is a little nitpicky. I don't like the well right there. We're gonna put the well there, and we're gonna put the water mill there, so that I can put one more bridge going there. And then last but not least, one bridge, uh, right over here. Awesome! So, this is Matataki Village, uh, completely, completely finished. 100%. So, I'll, uh, slowly go over all the houses so you guys have a good layout if you're playing long. Now again, I don't think it looks quite as good as Nurun Village turned out, but, you know what? We got a word for villages that aren't quite as good looking, and that word is character. You know, that's all that really matters in the grand scheme of things. Also, by doing that, okay, good. So yeah, Matsuki Village. What do you guys say? We uh, we land down. <laughs> Thanks to you. We have a gentle breeze blowing Manitoki Village. I'm grateful to you. Take this to the one. Ah. Oh. Achoo! <laughs> and we got a power powder. <laughs> Just adding it to our collection. It's my way of saying thank you. An extraordinary item it is uh, an extraordinary item it is upgrades weapons unconditionally. Makes the best of it, darling. Darling? Darling? Uh... Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh, we got the Chubster coming in. Oh god, Trant is not liking this. <laughs> get away! Before he explodes! Hey, Trant! Tell him gets a reward and I get nothing? That's not fair! Haru? Uh-huh, so you've not... Or so you've noticed. Guys, I can't read today, I'm sorry. I can't read. <laughs> and with that, Goro gets the battle axe. Oh lordy, Goro's dad. You know you saw this. Take good care of it. You can bet your butt on it. All right, so uh, okay, make sure you're prepared. We definitely will. All right, so uh, we got a little chest attachment bag. Come on, I want to end the episode off. But I get into much booty. Yeah, yeah. So, mage, get out of my life. Uh... Okay, uh, that should be okay. Also, get rid of one flame because none of the weapons that we're building up actually need it. Alright, so, Sky Hunter. I don't know if that was really worth it, but whatever. Anyway, though, ooh, we finally got one of those two. The. Battle Axe is incredibly powerful. Again, like, you kind of go from, like, if you are if you don't have good luck in Wise Isle Force getting a weapon for Goro, you literally start out, you know, having, like, maybe a weapon or two to getting so many for him. And just like the Magical Hammer, the Battle Axe is a Tier 3 weapon, I believe. And it's really, really good. 
So my plans are actually to make a sense sphere out of the magical hammer and then put it into the battle axe to make him even more OP. But anyway, <laughs> man, I know this episode has been really long, but I'm glad that we were able to completely knock out all of the Giorama for delicious sushi village. So in the next episode, Again, now that we do have the, uh, let me pull up, the Moongrass Seed and some nice old Sundew, uh, not to be mistaken for Mountain Dew, the delicious beverage, we can go ahead and go to the final floor of Wise Owl Forest to take on the boss there, and hopefully discover the Moon People. So until then, I'll see you next time.